Hola, senor, senorita. Lo siento. That's all I know from Handy Mandy for Spanish. But my computer crashed on me, so we were going to just hop right back to this. This is the equation we use to find Gibbs free energy. If delta G is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. That means it happens. If, whoops. Let's get rid of this, I hope. Okay. It happens. If it's positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous, and the reverse reaction happens. Okay, so that means the opposite would happen than you think would happen. So if I'm checking to see if um, I could make David jump 10 feet in the air, that's my goal is to have David jump 10 feet in the air. Whoops. If that's non-spontaneous, what happens is David would fall 10 feet into the ground. Okay. At zero, the reaction is at equilibrium. That means both reactions happen. And delta G is zero for elements of standard state, so it's not like delta S for that type of thing. So let's look at a calculation or two. So if delta G is negative, right? So to be spontaneous, nature would like it to lose energy, okay? Minus the temperature. Remember, the temperature is a Kelvin temperature, so it's always positive. And nature favors disorder. So if I have a negative delta G, delta H would be negative, minus T, delta S positive, and spontaneity would be always. If I wanted it to be never spontaneous, I would have delta G is positive, because that means it's, it's not spontaneous. Delta H would be the opposite of favored, right? So increasing energy, nature doesn't like that, and it would become, um, 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 and it would become, it would lose disorder, so it would become more ordered, so it would be negative. Okay, so positive minus a negative would always be a positive. Now, what if I wanted to do spontaneous at high temperatures? An example of this would be boiling water, right? So if I'm talking about boiling water, delta G, let me look at this. So it's spontaneous at high temperatures, like boiling water. Water boils spontaneously at hot temperatures, like 100, but not low. Remember, if you boil water, it has to absorb heat. The water absorbs heat from your stove, minus um, temperature's going to be high. And disorder increases. So a positive minus a positive will be spontaneous at a high temperature. So it would be sometimes. Spontaneous sometimes, and that sometimes would be at a high temperature. What if I want it to be spontaneous only at a low temperature, like freezing? Okay. So if it's freezing, in order to freeze, you have to release energy, right? Liquid water releases energy to freeze. So delta H would be negative, minus, and if I go from a liquid to a solid, disorder um, decreases, right? It becomes more ordered. So a negative minus a negative is sometimes spontaneous, but in this case, it would be at a low temperature. So let's take a look at this. The data on the table were determined 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate delta G for the reaction at 25. So here's my reaction. Do, 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 do. Find delta G at 25. So delta G reaction equals delta G products minus delta G reactants. My products are CH3OH, and I only have one of them. CH3OH is delta G is negative 166.2. Minus the reactants, CO2 is negative 137. And hydrogen's not listed. Now, hydrogen is a gas, or it's in its standard state. So hydrogen's delta G is zero because it's an element in its standard state. Okay? So minus negative 137. Plus zero. So I'll get out my handy handy calculator. Negative 166.22 minus negative 137.3, and I get negative 28.9. And that's going to be kilojoules per mole. Calculate delta S for the reaction above at 25 degrees Celsius. Now notice I don't have a delta S. H2 delta S equals question mark. Ooh. So an equation I can use to do this is delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And I'm asked to find delta S, right? So my delta G is negative 289, or 28, negative 28.9. My delta H is given to me as negative 128. My temperature is 25, not got to be in Kelvin, 298 times delta S, and that's my variable. So if I solve for negative 298 delta S's, equals negative 
I'm going to add 128 to both sides. So negative 28.9 plus 128 is 99.1 equals negative 298 delta S. Whoops, I think I messed up somewhere with my negative signs. What did I do? What did I do? Um, no, that's negative. A negative, so I would add 128 to both sides. That'd be positive. I think I'm going to have to find out. Someone's going to solve my little math issue that I did here, and I'll appreciate that. Here's your extra credit chance to do this, where I made my boo-boo over 298. So wherever my math messed up, I've got an... Oh, I can have a negative delta S. Silly me. 99.1 divided by negative... 298. I thought for a second you can't have a negative delta S, but you can. And I get negative 0.333 kilojoules per mole Kelvin, and that totally can be negative. There you go. In the table above, there are no data for H2. What are the values for HF? Check. Got that. It's zero. Because an element standard state. Delta G. Got that. It's zero. And the absolute entropy of delta H2. Use Hess's law for your answer from B. So what I'm going to do here is this This is joules per mole Kelvin. So I'm going to change this to joules per mole Kelvin. So delta S equals delta S products minus delta S reactants. My delta S products are negative 333. Change that to joules. Notice that wizardry there. And it's going to be products, which is CH3OH, 126, minus reactants, which would be 197. 0.9 plus 2x. And solve for x. I don't have much room, so I'm just going to solve for x and not show the work there. So negative 333 minus 126, and that would be plus 197.9 divided by 2, and I would get negative 130 uh, joules per mole Kelvin. I'm running out of space. That, by the way, was an AP chemistry question. So yay, good job. We are AP smart. So to review, Gibbs is free energy, but it's really spontaneity. So it's called Gibbs free energy, but we really just call it spontaneity. Positive, negative, and zero values for delta G. So non-spawn, spawn, and equilibrium. Know the formula and predict spontaneity. And we're just going to do a boatload of these things. I wish I could say boatload in Spanish, but I can't. Boat. Hmm. Bato? Hmm. Not sure. Delta H is zero for elements in the standard state two as is Delta G. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a fun time in Mexico. And if you're like me and not in Mexico, then you can be sad and just say, Toodles.